you're watching Big Explainer, the biggest explainer in the world. Husbandry has a long history, starting with the Neolithic Revolution when animals were first domesticated, from around 13,000 BC onwards, antedating farming of the first crops. A wide range of other species such as horse, water buffalo, llama, rabbit and guinea pig are used as livestock in some parts of the world. Ruminants like cattle and sheep are adapted to feed on grass. They can forage outdoors, or may be fed entirely or in part on rations richer in energy and protein, such as pelleted cereals. Fossilized chicken bones dated to 5040 BC have been found in northeastern China, far from where their wild ancestors lived in the jungles of tropical Asia, but archaeologists believe that the original purpose of domestication was for the sport of cockfighting. In ancient Egypt, cattle were the most important livestock, and sheep, goats, and pigs were also kept. Poultry including ducks, geese, and pigeons were captured in nets and bred on farms, where they were force-fed with dough to fatten them. Traditionally, animal husbandry was part of the subsistence farmer's way of life, producing not only the food needed by the family but also the fuel, fertilizer, clothing, transport and draft power. Ranching in the western United States involves large herds of cattle grazing widely over public and private lands. In the uplands of the United Kingdom, sheep are turned out on the fells in spring and graze the abundant mountain grasses untended, being brought to lower altitudes late in the year, with supplementary feeding being provided in winter. In rural locations, pigs and poultry can obtain much of their nutrition from scavenging, and in African communities, Hens may live for months without being fed, and still produce one or two eggs a week. The ingredients for the animal's rations can be grown on the farm or can be bought, in the form of pelleted or cubed, compound foodstuffs specially formulated for the different classes of livestock, their growth stages and their specific nutritional requirements. Eight times as heavy as a bird of similar age in 1957, while in the 30 years to 2007, the average milk yield of a dairy cow in the United States nearly doubled. Good husbandry, proper feeding, and hygiene are the main contributors to animal health on the farm, bringing economic benefits through maximized production.